other uh, one or two minutes yeah in yesterday's class we had uh, seen a problem as how to find the entropy for tossing a die so a die when we toss a die the probable outcomes are a die which is of a cubical uh, shaped structure will have six faces as everyone are familiar so out of the six faces each face represents each face represents uh, one value any of the six so each face has value 1 second face has value 2 third face has value 3 fourth face has value 4 fifth face has value 5 and sixth face has the value number 6 so when we toss a die when we throw a die the probability of occurring of 1 will be 1 by 6 if you throw a die only one face you are going to take it at an instant of time so probability of occurring of one uh, facing one the die facing one will be once second thing is that for the second face value 2 the probability of occurring is also again 1 by 6 for the facing value number 3 it is also 1 by 6 for facing value number 4 is also 1 by 6 for phase value 5 also 1 by 6 so accumulate this making a summation of this and substituting in the entropy formula which is summation x probability of x with log to the base 2 of p of x so this represents your entropy function which we can measure or how much amount of information of bits is being transmitted so somebody is coming in whatsapp asking stating that not opened this lookup is not working for pavan somebody is pavan is there pavan is available if pavan is available pavan you came another pavan i think so at 228 you also you joined it pavan joined the sir i am in that class oh, because you are saying that it's not working now you joined the Pavan, hello. Uh, yes, sir. I am in the class. You are in the class. You got the link. You are able to log in. Yes, sir. You are able to log in. Okay. So you are able to see my screen. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. All events are probably. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is the formula for calculating entropy. so entropy yes yeah. sir you are able to see this example also yes sir okay right so substituting 1 by 6 yes, for uh, occurrence of phase 1 1 by 6 occurrence of phase 2 1 by 6 occurrence of phase 3 plus 1 by 6 occurrence of phase 4 plus 1 by 6 occurrence of phase 5 plus 1 by 6 occurrence of phase 6 gives you approximately the entropy to be calculated if you if you having a calculator you can calculate this and see obviously you'll get this 2.585 bits as your entropy function so maximum amount of information that can be transmitted over this tossing a die and occurring and uh, face value of either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 will be 2.5 5 bits only 
सकते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई और यू और एनी वन टॉस टॉस द सेम डाई फॉर ए ट्रायल बेसिस और एस ए सैंपल फॉर टेन थाउजेंड नो इट्स नॉट टेन थाउजेंड इट्स वन मिलियन टाइम्स वन मिलियन टाइम्स आई टॉस दी डाई एंड आई रिकॉर्ड दी वैल्यू ओके सो फॉर दैट I need to have a value of nearly three million bits for storing that information. Why? Because for storing this information, I require approximately two point five eight five bits. I require for tossing a die and recording its value. I require approximately two point five eight five bits of information. So if I throw the die. For uh, one million time, it assumes that for one occurrence, it is two point five. So approximately, when I calculate for one million time, one million times of dice throwing, I require three million bits of information for storing its data. Okay. So thus, when we compute the same information, when I use ASCII representation, American Standard Code for information interchange the computer needs or the computer stores for 1 byte 8 bits of information so when you compute that it becomes obviously 8 million bits so this is an illustration of an example but what did this shannon bring out instead of using or computing the same in 1 million informations by tossing a tie he multiplied it with that approximately so here is our bits of information for so tossing a tie 2.585 whereas when i convert using ascii representation it requires 8 million bits so shannon did something new so what he did is that He multiplied just that two point five eight five into the number of times of occurrences. How many times I want to occur it? One million times. So multiply that one million times into the number of bits. So this. So only this much amount of two point five eight five into one million. So I require approximately this. bits so which is 2.58 i think so 2.58 five million bits so when you see that with rep with respect to ascii representation and with respect to shannon's representation if i compare them i'll be getting in compression ratio of nearly 32 percentage so shannon says 2585000 divided by ascii's representation 8 million so divide that and we get a compression of 32 percentage approximately so this is what he had proved it and shown it just a minute shri kala is coming into the uh, meeting inform her to use her uh, user id and if anybody is representing uh, c section inform her to use Our university ID and get into the class. Then, let us see some of the analysis. So, if I don't do any file compression of eight million bits, the compression ratio will be as it is. If I use WinRAR, WinRAR system. it's 35 percentage of compression ratio and when we use winzip it is 36.63 percentage of compression can be done whereas when we use shannon's the compression is more so 32.31 percentage of information can be compressed 
easily so this means that the same amount of information is being traveling throughout the channel with more bandwidth efficiency you can see that 4% or 10% or 8% is being saved by this shannon's principle so this is what is contribution is so now it is this source coding theorem that we are uh, seeing can be applied to all this again shikala is asking for an uh, entry she is not using her uh, university id informer to informer had to uh, log in using her uh, university id i think kishor is represent kishor is there kishor kishor yes sir sir i am b section uh, b b oh you are okay your b section sorry sir right then from uh, yes. c section uh, reddy kumar i think so right reddy kumar yesterday he came reddy kumar is there no sir reddy kumar he didn't come uh, yes. uh then uh, who else is there in c section srija yeah i said sir i said i had to log in using her uh, university id and uh, come into the class i think user id is being shared by your class in charge yes yeah okay okay nowadays this source coding theorem is applicable even for uh, jpeg for image compression mpeg for audio or video compression and if you want to use winrar or winzip for data compression and exclusively mp3 for audio compression so this is where source coding theorem is applicable nowadays so some of the examples that we had seen yesterday also the same vcd dvd reed solomon codes wireless communication users convolutional codes optical communication users reed solomon codes computer networks users your long term lt codes or they can use raptor codes and this space communication is users your all of this all all rs cc rs lt and raptor all is being used by satellite communication so this is shannon's theory also enables some of the uh, space communications that we are not familiar i think so most of them are not familiar with these space communication information first one is that in 1965 mariner mariner 4 which is in this shape you can see that this i'll click it uh, or i'll select it such that you can uh, be able to see that so this image that i am cropping you and showing or that i have selected is the mariner 4 satellite which was launched during uh, 1965 so the frequency band for this is uh, 2.3 gigahertz which is used in uh, s band with a maximum data rate of 8.33 bits per second and the repetition code with two times of that and the bottom we have a diagram which represents a mars explore exploration rover so this uh, exploration rover which was launched during 2004 has a frequency of about 8.4 gigahertz operating at x band with a higher data rate 168 kilobits per second 
which used concatenated quotes so we previously we had seen convolutional quotes so here this used concatenated quotes which is is having an compression of 12 is to 1 compression uh, so in our class group i'll put you an uh, video uh, such that you can uh, see as how to what do you call uh, how to uh, use your uh, or how to log in using your uh, university id so i'll uh, just now share the your whatsapp group it is exclusively for shri kala use that procedure so you can use that say informer to use that procedure and uh, log in into the google classroom hope she will be joining uh, the session very soon after she completes her process as in the video okay so any doubts in this presentation so far yesterday's and today's shenon entropy shenon coding compression enabling space so if there is any doubts you can ask i'll wait for another 2 or 3 minutes at least uh, shikala can join for the next uh, few more minutes i'll
i think still uh, shrikala is unable to join our meeting she is again using her personal mail id only inform her the same so this so these are the textbooks that are being uh, available for you information coding by n abrahamson introduction to information theory by m mansoor pur information theory by r b ash error control coding by shu in in dj costello and information coding theory by G. A. Johnson, J. Mary Jones. So these are the textbooks or references. any questions okay so shall we go for to the next topic I think Shrikala has joined. Yes, sir. Okay, shall we start and proceed? Shrikala, you are able to hear? Yes, sir. Hearing, sir. You are able to hear me? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, if you would have got trained before itself for uh, using that uh, user ID password, it would have been better such that you would have joined the class earlier. Okay. No issues. Is presentation visible to you? Yes, sir. Visible, sir. Okay. Can you read the first line? Definite outline, definition, and examples. Unity okay, okay. decodable codes. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So, in this uh, presentation, I would like to give you the topics that all that we are going to see in unit number one. So, first one is the basic definitions. and some relevant examples to source coding and entropy and uh, second is that uh, how to uniquely decodable codes third one instantaneous codes how to construct this instantaneous codes and uh, what are crafts inequality and macmillan's inequality so one by one we'll go for that so the definition is
the information theory is concerned with the transmission of information from a sender to a receiver through a channel in between the sender and receiver could be two people two machines two systems two devices two users and so on so mostly what happens in between these two people these two users or the two machines or two users is that information is being stored so information is being traveled from the sender to the receiver so this information should be stored such that at the receiver the information can be retrieved easily such that the receiver can able to analyze or receiver can recognize what the information is being about what the information is about so let us assume that an information is coming from a source s i denote the user to be as s is emitting some symbols some informations in a sequence some sequences i take x1 x2 x3 till xn because xn might be the nth order for its outcome of repetition so let our source be x and the sequences of sources be x1 x2 x3 till xn xn is the maximum edge so in practice these sequences will be always finite in the sense we have a termination or n is terminated at some value it could be for do for example if you are doing some experiments for conducting some experiments i take 10 samples in the 10 samples the maximum is 10 so i need to start from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so x n or uh, x is the same this of number of experiments is x and uh, how many experiments that we do which is 10 is equal to n so that is this x of n for each and every x subject we will take it as an example for each and every subject in practice this is always finite so n will be a finite number so for a finite set of numbers having a, a source emitting from x1 to xn we can write it in a set which is finite so where s is equal to s1 s2 till s q which we call as source alphabet of s for simplicity this probability can be written as p of r which is always equal to the maximum x of n of s i so where the nth symbol x of n is s i so for simplicity we write like that so depending upon the i we can write the equation as pr is equal to pi where i varies from 1 to q at maximum of xn is equal to si so this is what we can write as the equation probability of occurrences is equal to probability of instances So this is a small definition. So thus, I think the page has to be loaded. So I wait till my slide page loads. Thus, the different symbols. You 
you all are able to see my fourth slide an example 1.1 can you see yeah now it is coming i think so are you getting it yeah thus the different symbols will have different probabilities such that these remain constant in time and they do not depend on the preceding symbols so the preceding symbols represent the previous symbols so they always these preceding symbols are represented by x of n having m less than n so the probabilities must always satisfy this equation this equation which is p of i greater than or equal to 0 and the summation of i is equal to 1 to q p of i is equal to 1 so this is another definition for a memoryless channel so a memoryless channel will always have probability of occurrences greater than or equal to 0 and the summation of all the probabilities should not exceed 1 So P I summation I is equal to one to Q, P I is equal to one. So in statistical terms, always this S can be regarded as a sequence of independent, identically distributed random variables. I think you all are uh, familiar with probability and statistics that you had studied in uh, uh, third semester, I think so. Third. third or fourth semester mathematics 3 probability and statistics independent identically identically distributed random variables so the variables which are being occurring in sequences of 0 to n will independently being distributed over a period of time and they will be identical identical in the sense for some amount of time they will be present so that amount of time will be common throughout so that is called as independent identically distributed random variable i i d in short so this s can be recorded as a sequence of independent identically distributed random variables so this equation p of i greater than or equal to 0 and summation of i is equal to 1 to q probability of occurrence is equal to 1 is a standard relation for probabilities measurement this should be satisfied and it will be satisfied obviously now as we'll see in uh, as you've seen in the previous class at the beginning an example of a die being tossed same example i had given it as 1.1 second example i am going to give you is about uh, a yes about the yes which we consider it as a weather at a particular place with x of n representing the weather on day n day n represents it could be right from day 1 to day 365 also so simply i am going to record only three instances one is good weather moderate weather or bad weather so i am making a probability that on day 1 whether it is good or whether it is bad or whether it is moderate so i can write the probability equation as p of i is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 probability of occurrences 1 comma 2 comma 3 and uh, when does this on each day it occurs it will give you a value say for example uh, on first day i am having good mo- good day and the second day i consider it as a moderate day third day it may be a bad day and fourth day it may be a good day so the probability of occurrence will be for good day it would be 1 by 4 for moderate day it would be 1 by 4 for uh, bad day it would be 1 by 
and for moderate it would be 1 by 2 in the sense i am taking for 4 days i am considering n is equal to 4 so if you find that you will get this any doubts in this example 1.2 Because already 1.1 we had seen in stress class and in the beginning also is the same. Any doubts in example 1.2? Anyone please such that I can proceed for another 1.3. Darish, can I proceed? Nareesh is there. Chandragiri Nareesh. Hello, sir. Sir, want to take from one to three, sir. Yeah. Yeah, just. Example one point two. Any doubts? Uh, yes, sir. From Q value, we want to take three, sir. From one to three, we want to take, sir. Limit. Yeah, we are measuring only three events. One is good. One is moderate, second one bad. So totally three are events, right? So P1 represents good event, P2 represents moderate event, P3 represents bad event. I am taking for four days. So I assume that first day is good, second day is moderate, third day is bad, and fourth day is also moderate. I take it like that. For a for an example, so what do I get probability? How many good days I get? One good day. So one by total number of days four. How many bad days I get? I get one bad day. So one by total four. One by four. So I get two moderate days. The climate in the particular instance is two moderate days. So two by four. What do I get? One by two. One by two. So that is P one represents good day, P two represents moderate day, and P three represents bad day. Okay, I think now you would have understood the even better. Yes, sir. Any, any doubts? Yeah, as you asked, the Q represents the types of weather. Uh, yes, uh, Naresh. Naresh Reddy. Okay. I think she class doubt is being cleared, probably. Cleared. Shall we proceed? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So next is example one point three. Example one point three is that we consider yes as a book that consists of uh, all the symbols being used inside a book. Letters, punctuations, marks, numerals, etc. Everything is inside a book. So we have. Uh, We have what you call uh, letters, punctuations, numerals. Letters in the sense A alphabets, A, B, C, D, or if it is in English, punctuation marks, full stop, comma, hyphen, semicolon, colon, all those consider punctuations. Numerals are your uh, one, two, three, four, and also. So all these are being present inside a book. And the occurrence inside this book, the frequency of uh, i to symbol, the frequency of i to symbol 
in the source alphabet we can encode it as with a finite code alphabet as t is equal to t1 to till tr where r consists of code symbols in general this source alphabet can be written as x i it's not s i it should be s1 s1 s2 s3 s4 till sq since r represents your uh, radix matrix or your uh, meaning root we can refer this as your r array code so where we wrote uh, to encode a source using a finite code alphabet ranging from uh, t1 to t2 so t1 t2 t3 t4 till tr the representation of this we can be in the form of root so which we called as r array code so what is this r array code is is that an r array code will have a value of r is equal to 2 in the case of binary or in other words we can say that if we have uh, r is equal to 2 it can be considered for taking it as binary in most cases such as when you use ascii codes it varies uh, with respect to a set of integers a set of integers where our alphabets numerics all will be consisting of american standard code for information interchange will have most of this alpha numeric codes so for example if i make uh, the code r code so here this finite codes r code to be as r is equal to 3 they are called as ternary codes i'll highlight it ternary code. and encoding each and every symbol with its finite sequence of codes to each symbol yeah now is it audible i switch off the fan when can sir you are able to hear me is it clear now it is clear it is clear now sir yeah. but some disturbance yeah, is yeah. there if i think uh, my fan is rotating at a high speed yeah okay, i had switched off my fan now is it clear somewhat better sir yeah Okay. Shall I continue? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go on, sir. Yeah. So I'll uh, start from the beginning of example three, such that uh, you don't lose the information. So I consider a book which is of yes is the name given to that book. The book will always consist of uh, some of informations. it in the form of letters punctuation marks and numerals everyone is familiar with letters if it is in english a b c d if it is in other other languages it could be depending upon the language obviously we in a book we have punctuation marks full stop comma colon semicolon hyphen underscore and so on we may use it and numerals 1 2 3 4 the numbers and so on all this may be present so in order to encode a such type of information 
we need to use some specific codes which we call as radix code meaning radix represents root code this root code or the radix code can be referred to as r array code also in many of the examples if r is equal to 2 it would represent it the code is called as or the code tends to be a binary code if this r is equal to 3 we call it as ternary codes so you can see that this is what the it is determining it is determining the code alphabet t and some binary codes such as uh, american standard code for information interchange are being used it is a set of integers with modulo 2 addition so which i wrote model model in bracket 2 is modulo 2 addition so each and every symbol has to be encoded accordingly to this r array code or the radix codes or your root codes so this is about example number example number 1.3 so next example 1.4 example 1.4 you are able to see example 1.4 thank you narendra the occurrence if the occurrence is taken as an unbiased die unbiased die represents there is no any partiality for the die to rotate that we called as unbiased die as an example 1.1 the binary representations of the sources will be the occurrences of 1 occurrences of 2 occurrences of 3 occurrences of 4 occurrences of 5 occurrences of 6 and for each and every occurrences we can clearly explore the waiting functions for example i am encoding it as w i w it should be w1 w1 w2 w3 w4 w5 and w6 so if the occurrences of the sequence of throws is 5 at first instant 3 at second instant 2 at next instant 1 at next instant and 4 at next instant we can write the t code as this equation as this value or i'll show you clearly so this represents this you see that example 4 which i am highlighting if you encode 101 in binary we get value 5 which is this sequence 5 and if i encode this 3 
in t code i can write it as 1 1 if it is 2 if it is 2 i can encode it as 1 0 and if it is 1 it is encoded as 1 and if it is 4 is the sequence it is 4 so try to recall your uh, binary conversions in digital such that you can understand this sequences easily i am throwing a die which is an unbiased die first time it shows 5 second time 3 third time 2 in sequence 1 in sequence 4 so write those values 5 3 2 1 4 4 and the appropriate values for that i am encoding with an value as weightage probability of occurrence of 1 as 1 probability of occurrence of 2 as 10 probability of occurrence of 3 as 11 probability of occurrence of 4 as 100 probability of occurrence of 5 with code 101 if it is 6110 so that in to write it as a template sorry like this not not in break like this which i am highlighting okay so this example which i had given is just for the benefit of uh, readers understanding and we should not put any punctuations in between a binary code so this is to be understood so every code which we are scripting should not have any punctuation in between in binaries okay so this is not to be written as such this is for clear understanding 5 3 2 1 and 4 okay. so the word length in uh, t would be of a finite sequence of symbols t with its length w i with the number of symbols so this set of all words in t can be denoted by t star i am writing it as t star and this may also include an empty word length of 0 which we will denote it by by and the set of this non empty words t i am representing it as t plus if it is an empty word length of 0 i need to write it as t star if it is non empty word set it should be written as t plus so the equation you can see union of all the values which are greater than or equal to 0 t power n and if it is non empty words t plus is equal to union of n greater than 0 t power 0 understand this logic so the continuation of that just a bit i'll zoom you somebody is saying not visible i'll zoom a bit is it visible to all Ashita is presentation visible Yes sir Okay shall i proceed Okay sir 
ओके ए सोर्स कोड और सिंपली ए कोड वी कैन मैनिपुलेट इट एस टी प्लस ऑलवेज बिकॉज़ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन विल ऑलवेज लीड्स टू नॉन एम्प्टी वर्ड्स इन द सेंस देयर आर सम इंफॉर्मेशन बीइंग ट्रांसमिटेड so always we should take t plus into consideration such that the information will have uh, a code words wi belonging to t plus to the symbols yes 1 yes 2 yes 3 yes 4 till yes n so i can write as shortly si so many of the properties depend uh, only on the code words So whatever we have wrote instead of five one zero one, instead of four one zero zero. Instead of one as one, instead of six one one zero. All those are code words. Writing in its equivalent binary. So this. coding of occurrences can be written as s is equal to s i1 s i2 till s i n sequences which tends to the value of uh, t varying the total uh, alphabet code varying from w i1 w i2 till w i n where everything belongs to T star, and uh, the image of this function set can be written as C star code of empty with the code word of W belonging to T star, where T star is your uh, empty code word length belonging to n. Greater than or equal to zero. Then we can find the average word length of this code C as length of C is equal to summation i is equal to one to q probability of i and length of i. so the average code word length that is the length of the code for example if you see this we we are seeing i'll show you just just a moment it is loading i'll show you the code word of the length so i have selected 101 Can anyone tell me what is the equivalent binary value of this one zero one? Anyone can turn on your mic and tell me. Why did I write one zero one at the beginning? For this source. Five. Five. Yeah, somebody has said me answer as five. Uh, may I know who it is? Three colors, sir. Yeah, very good. Answer five is correct. But can you tell me what is the code word for this five? You can easily write the binary value of five. I'm I'm sure that you can write it. Can you tell me the code word of that five? Okay, code word is five is one zero one. Length. You can see how many digits are being given for five. Three digits. Yeah. Then the code length L I for that five is three. three. Understood code word length. Length is the number of bits being used to encode that source particularly, which we call as word 
length or we can call it as code word length so the code word length for every symbols for example if here if you have five for five it is three for uh, three also it is two for uh, numeral two it is two for one it is one for four it is three so the code word length for this will go by counting the total number of codes so can anyone give me how many code word length is there for this how many code word length 5 so can everyone check whether it is 11 and tell me yes sir it's 11 sir yeah 11 very good kishor so that we call it as code word length and how do we calculate this average code word length is that we need to find the probability of p so p for the first instance p1 is 5 So five into the code word of that code word of five is three, and for uh, three it is two. So three into two, and next is for two it is two. So two into two. So next is one code word length is one one into one. Next is four. Four into code word length four. So that when we find it out, we call it as average code length of that C. Okay. Understood? How do we calculate code word length? Don't worry. If you so, I'll solve your problem on each and every concept. Then you will be understanding even better than this. To solve your problem. so shall we see an example of that how to calculate this c for example in uh, example 1.4 i have l1 okay is equal to 1 i have uh, l2 is equal to l3 is equal to 3 so is equal to 2 l2 and l3 is equal to 2 l4 l5 l6 is equal to 6 what is my average code word is that the probability of occurrence of all these codes is only 1 by 6 so i take in each and everything 1 by 6 as common outside so 1 by 6 uh, 1 by 6 is given here 1 by 6 which is a common for each and every symbols so remaining is code word for first is 1 second is Two, third is two, next is three, next three so three. All this add up, we get seven by three. So this is how to find average code word length L of C. So any doubts till this? No, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you, Kishore, for the feedback. You can see in this example. Example one point six. If you die. is i think reddy kumar is coming uh, at the end of the class and that too not in his id say to reddy kumar he has to represent uh, c section was his role being given just now he is asking to admit same to come through his regular uh, student id of our college
the binary coding of a die is being represented here and don't worry about this title uniquely decodable codes i will explain you that in detail just see that example 1.6 the binary coding of a die is not uniquely decodable this is your question so i write t is equal to 11 and that could be decomposed into code words 1 dot 1 or 11 representing s is equal to 11 or s is equal to 3 why because when when we write 3 uh, it represents 11 when i write 6 it represents 110 when i write 2 it represents 010 when i write 1 in it is equal to 001 so then this can be represented as uniquely also so as in the above format which we call it as uniquely decodable codes don't worry I'll explain you this uniquely because we got in detail also uh, followed by the uniquely decodable codes we have uh, instantaneous codes constructing them inequality principle macmillan's principle and so on. so don't worry about that i'll explain you in detail so i think uh, still uh, 10 more minutes is there so i would like to get attendance from you all such that no one misses somebody is already left uh, in between so i would stop present i will make a note of the attendance kindly wait so in a uh, key section is there anybody absent key section Yeah, is it audible? Sir. Just wait. I'll I'm searching for the name list. I'll call uh, number one also. I'll call one by one. Then you can turn on your mic and you can give me your attendance. So kindly uh, just uh, wait for a minute. Yeah, Mamsi is present. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, you can leave, Mamsi. You can leave. Okay. Okay, sir. Let's. Harsha Vardhan. Ah, uh, present, sir. Okay, you can leave. You can leave the meeting. Sri Vishnu. No. Oh. Sri Vishnu. Sri Vishnu is present. Okay, I'll go for the next step. Purna Vantaj. Present, sir. Uh, Purna Vantaj, right? Yes, sir. Present, sir. Yeah, you, yeah, you can leave. Okay, sir. Uh, Sri Kar. Sri Kar is present. Shikar, I saw Shikar. Shikar is there. 
Present, sir. Okay, very good. You can leave the meeting, Shrikar. Chandra, Pawan Chandra. Present, sir. Okay, you can leave the meeting, Pawan Chandra. Naresh. Present, sir. Present, Naresh. 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 Present. Okay, sir. very good. You can leave the meeting. Tanuja. Yes, sir. Very good. Thank you. You can leave the meeting. Kalyan Reddy. Kalyan Reddy. Okay, is not available. Lakshman. Sir. Okay, you can leave the meeting, Lakshman. Thank you. Arshita. Not Arshita. Pranit. Pranit. Is Pranit? E Pranit, yes sir. Okay, yes sir. You went and attended another class, sir. Huh? Yes sir, yes sir. I am that class only, sir. I said to Ganesh Mohan, sir. No, no, no. You he, belong to only information theory. Oh, uh, he said to talk to Salva, sir. No, you belong I don't, to only. I don't. I don't know, sir. I did not go into this. Uh, This group sir name. No, no. Without giving, then how can you go into that also? Ah. Uh, your name, your name is given so in only time. this. Ah, uh, sir. So, so that only he said to talk to Salwa sir, sir. No, no. The change of selector is not possible. You need to join only this class here afterwards. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Can you, okay. Ashita? Uh, thank you. Present sir. Very good. Thank you. Can you, Manaswini? Present, sir. Thank you. Can you, sir? Kishore, yes. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Present, sir. Kishore. Yeah. Thank you, Kishore. Thank. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Another one. K one C is there. Oh, yes, sir. Present, sir. Two one C is there. Yeah. Okay. Two one C. So kindly. Ah. Uh, Change your ID, K one C. Change your name for displaying. Okay. Thank you. Reddy Kumar. Reddy Kumar, come in. He came only at uh, asking with other ID. Reddy Kumar. Okay. Okay. Sri Kala. Present sir. Okay. Initially, you had some issues. Yes sir. I hope in next class you may not hit. नॉट टेकन आई योर नेम Sir, my name is Arjun. C zero seventy two. No, you are not C zero seventy two. No, sir. One one nine. Wait, wait. I'll complete C zero seventy two. Yeah, seventy two percent. I forgot. Okay. Ready, Surya Chand, right? Yeah, you are present. Okay. Thank you. You can leave. One one nine. Uh, one one you are not registered in the information theory, ra? Registered, sir. No, no, no. You're not in the one one. Your name? Nitish Sharma. Nitish Sharma, right? Nitish Sharma. No, your name yes, is not in my, not in my subject. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think you you should have been probably in either a uh, names 